So when it comes to buying a house, there are some definite advantages. One of them includes the tax reduction on your property taxes that can be reduced on your overall income. There's also a connection to your community. Most people who own a house have the tendency to stay within the area longer. There's also wealth growth, right? Because if everything goes well, you're building equity, something that you don't get to do when you have an apartment. As a realtor, I decided to open another chapter of my life in this video by showing you guys what $700,000 can get you in post-COVID America. So I'm gonna be taking off and heading to this area called Stevensville. Stevensville is a very nice, quiet community in Queens Anne County in Maryland. You have to go past Annapolis, cross the Chesapeake Bay Bridge, for those of you who are not familiar with Maryland, that bridge, oh boy, if you're afraid of heights, <laughs> I, don't, I don't recommend going through it. I mean, that place is so freaking high and it's long. You have to drive, I think, close to 10 minutes, if I'm not mistaken, you know, on it. And it's, it's, it's just, I don't like heights, you know? But anyways, we're gonna go through this area past Annapolis, cross the Chesapeake Bay Bridge, and on the other side of the bridge, you have Stevensville. So Stevensville is very quiet, nice homes over there. Annapolis, a lot of people love Annapolis because it's by the water. And Stevensville also, you have, you know, bay access, but it depends on where your house actually sits. So I'm going to meet a client there and I'm going to show you guys the house that he's interested in purchasing. So right now it costs about $700,000. The same home in a different county will cost a lot more. So let me take advantage of this to say home prices have gone up ever since COVID happened. You know, people thought the opposite was going to happen. And my company, they actually terminated close to half the staff when COVID took place. But then the initial surge, we didn't have enough people to actually keep up with all the demands. So they ended up bringing everybody back and hired even more people. So now in this no mask era, the market has gone down again and at this time is mostly due to the interest rates you know depending on what your credit looks like if you get a fha loan or a va loan some people are able to close right now at seven percent on a 30-year mortgage others at eight percent so it really depends some people even higher than that but having the high home prices along with the high interest rate have made a lot of people just not get into the market right now because they just feel like it is too expensive for them so it's definitely a tough time for people purchasing homes at this point so this client he's interested in seeing this home and is located in stevensville so i'm going to take you guys over there and basically show you you know the home so join me on this virtual tour of this gorgeous house in stevensville so the second part of the video i'm actually going to take you to this uh, beautiful rental that i found and uh, the lady actually rents it out on, as an Airbnb. It's actually a house boat. And I thought it was so unique. And I asked her if she would please allow me to film it, you know, so I can, you know, show you guys. So she said, yeah, of course, you know, she just didn't want to, she was too shy for the camera. <laughs> so I'm going to take you through that boat and show you what it looks like. You know, it's very unique. And she rents it out occasionally on Airbnb. So let's go ahead and, and check it out. So welcome to Stevensville. To get over here from Annapolis, you have to cross this huge bridge. It's probably the biggest bridge I've ever crossed in my life. Man, I hate that bridge. It's so scary. I have a fear of heights. <laughs> so, so here in Stevensville, I'm meeting a client today to present them this beautiful and gorgeous home. So this is a three bedroom and three bath house that is in the market currently for about $700,000 and is about 2,100 square feet. It's a brand new construction, okay? Brand new construction. So you can see the proximity with the neighbors over here. So I'm just gonna give you guys an overview of this house. And if you like it, I will have the information of the real estate agent, the selling agent. City of mine, how I love, how I love the city of mine. It never gets me down. So I'm basically gonna show you this house and if you are interested, let me know. I will give you guys some information so that you can, you know, move forward if you want to purchase this house, okay? So as you walk in, basically, 
you have this bedroom over here, okay? With the front door access. Okay, so high ceilings over here. Then you have the stairs. Like I said, they're still finishing up, you know, painting, do all the final touches. They're still working on that. So you have some storage over here, okay, under the stairs. You know, that's nice. Many times in some homes, you have wasted space. Let me turn on the lights. But that's not the case in this house. They've done a good job. So this is actually your garage over here. Okay, you can walk in from the side as well. So it's a one car garage, very nice driveway over there. Okay, so that's what you have going on. This is the laundry room. Okay, this is the laundry room area. Here you have another bedroom. Okay, and it's a Jack and Jill situation. Let me turn this light on as well. Okay. And then you have access to this balcony over here. All right. So this is very nice. Good amount of space over here. And that's the neighbors back there. So from this, you can also get out from the other bedroom. Because remember, this is a Jack and Jill. For those of you watching from outside the US who may not be familiar with the technology, a Jack and Jill bedroom is basically two bedrooms that are connected through a bathroom okay so like this one right here is a bedroom and then you have this uh this bathroom right here okay with two sinks so you have the first sink over here and then the second sink so this is the bedroom i was just showing you this is your toilet over here all right and then you have the second bedroom and they both share you know access to this back in here now when you step outside of here you have all the utilities so that's your water heater that's your hvac system and all these units are brand new okay completely brand new and then you have a storage closet right there so you're basically seeing this floor has that bedroom the jack and jill and then you have the bathroom over here also no no the laundry room i take it back you have the laundry room and you have another closet here okay so we have on this floor alone we have uh, three bedrooms so now we go upstairs because i have not seen the kitchen yet okay so let's go upstairs okay so this is the main living area the family room and a very beautiful kitchen here all right a beautiful kitchen so they're still hooking everything up so that's what you're going to have on this side and then they have granite or cork i can't tell the difference i'm not really good at those and they're going to have your microwave installed over there so that's your refrigerator again all brand new right there what i would tell you about homes <laughs> I had a situation recently where my dishwasher stopped working and just to repair it the guy wanted about $400 and a brand new dishwasher will cost you $600 unfortunately I didn't have insurance on it so I had no choice but to make the hard decision to actually purchase a brand new one because it made no sense to me that I would pay 400 just to fix a machine. And he told me to install it, he wanted 200 additional dollars. So at the end of the day, I was gonna spend 600 just to fix this dishwasher. And you know, I figured it's better to go ahead and just buy a brand new one. So all this to say, when you have a brand new house like this, or when you buy appliances for the first time, the one thing you really wanna do, make sure that you put insurance on all your appliances. I know a lot of homeowners do this, but if you don't, you run the chance that your appliances will break and then you have to buy everything brand new. I think it's not basura. You're going to fix it and then you sell it to Mexico or you sell it to Guatemala. No, maybe you do. You sell it to uh, Cameroon. <laughs> no, you know, I know you're going to fix it. Because this, in, in, in another country, they can, you take this to Cameroon, they can fix it. Yeah. 
You know? I, I, I have my friend from Camaro. He got a, he, he buy a, a old boat. Yeah? He sent it over there. Wow. Yeah. Good ones. Okay, here we just throw everything away, man. Yeah, we can a, fix it. He live in uh, Virginia. Oh, really? Yeah, he got a lot of uh, old boats. Wow. Fishing boat. Wow. Right, so just be careful with that. So this is one of the things, and I will have to make a video eventually about the difference between owning a house and renting. Sometimes it makes sense to rent. Sometimes it makes sense to buy. It depends on so many factors that we're going to get into. But one of the stresses about home ownership is that when you have an apartment, you just call downstairs and say, hey, I have a problem with this thing, and people go ahead and fix that for you. No problem. You may have to wait a day or two, depending on how responsive your front office is. But when you own a house, everything is yours. You have to fix and pay for everything, all right? So before I show you outside from here, let me show you, this is the master bedroom, okay? So this is your master bedroom here. They have a very nice uh, accent wall. And uh, with these large windows, you will have some great fresh light coming through, okay? So you have uh, the master closet here, okay? And I know some ladies can fill this up all by themselves. So many clients that I meet tell me, man, you know, this is my closet and my husband is gonna have to use another closet. <laughs> ladies, they go out the space. So one of the very common features now is to have two sinks. It saves marriages. You can have all your stuff spread out here, ladies. And your husband will have his lonely toothbrush and toothpaste sitting right here, no problem, all right? So this is a nice bathroom with a beautiful light coming through as well to these large windows. And then you have the separate toilet right there. Then you have your shower, okay? So that's what you have on this master suite, the main closet and the large area. So this is probably what the husband will have, you see? They will let the husband have this one. <laughs> and then the wife will occupy this large closet right here, walk-in closet. So that's usually how things work out. So now, from here, you have another half bath, okay? You have another half bath right here. Let me turn this on for the client. Okay, turn this light on right here, okay? So that's what you have, a half bath. And last but not least, the balcony. All right, so you have a nice deck on this side over here. Okay, so this is the top of the house. So basically, this is what 700,000 would get you in Stevensville, Maryland. We are about 20 minutes away from Annapolis. If you can position that in your head, I have to go to this major bridge, man. I don't like that bridge at all, but you know, I'm gonna film it a little bit so you guys can see, I don't like that bridge, but that's just me, my fear heights. So this side of Maryland, Things seem to be a little bit cheaper. The same house like this in Montgomery County, Prince George's County, the closer you get to DC, the more expensive. So here you have a very nice and quiet area. You know, you have access to the water. If you have a boat, you can dock it over there. And you know, basically I have access to this beautiful water that goes all the way down. This is, this is basically just an overview of this beautiful house here in Stevensville. So like I said, if you're interested in purchasing this home, this is some of the things I do sometimes. You know, I'm a realtor. I get to meet clients. The market has been down, to be honest with you guys. The interest rates have been really, really high. So many people have backed off away. Plus, not to mention, this is winter time, right? And with the winter, you sell a lot less homes. People are busy celebrating the holidays with their families, so they don't necessarily feel the need to buy homes. People are literally waiting when the weather gets better in order to purchase so this is basically an overview so you get to see another portion of my life away from traveling that includes real estate if you have any real estate question related questions if you are interested in buying a house i'm licensed in maryland so this is where i work i don't usually go to dc or virginia but i know people who are licensed on that side as well so if you're interested in purchasing away from maryland feel free to reach out to me and i will give you some information so in a nutshell 
you know the house is still being finished i we can find out more information as far as when they're going to be finishing with all the final touches and, and let you guys know you know what i'm saying when i started this video there was a dog that ran welcome ran that was like whew, scary luckily he didn't jump this okay so let me show you the side of the house oh nice this is an elevated system here away from the water wow that's very smart i've actually never seen that before you know usually they, they place them like right there but look they have it all the way on the top okay so so that's what you have and that's the backyard and uh, they you know planted some grass so it's gonna grow and you're gonna have all green and you can put your fence around you know generally if you don't have an hoa for those of you who are not familiar with this terminology hoa is homeowner association those are the people in your neighborhood the group of folks who decide what the rules are and it includes everything that's outside the house so if you want to paint this door red before you do that you have to reach the hoa and the hoa will basically tell you yes or no <laughs> so, even though it's your house you cannot make any external changes without consulting the hoa if you have something sitting like this for a while outside they will send you a letter and say hey man we noticed that you have this garbage in front of your house for a while we'd like you to remove that okay so this is what they do you have to be aware of the stressors of the hoa that you know when you own a home but it's not all bad the good side about the hoa is that it will pr protect you from having a neighbor who paints his house blue or whatever color that you may not like you know everything has to look a certain way you know everything has to look a certain way so they will protect the value of your house by making sure that the neighbor also adheres to the same rules so hoa is a double-edged sword some people love them some people hate them personally i live in an hoa and I, I don't mind it because I don't do anything extravagant. But there are some people that don't like the fact that they cannot make changes to their houses without first talking to the HOA. So that's basically it. So I love real estate. I've been doing this for a few years now. And uh, this is another one of my jobs. I have a few. I keep myself really busy. On top of doing this YouTube thing, I also work in real estate and I have another job that I'm not sharing at the moment. But anyways, that's what you have here a beautiful home in Stevensville Maryland seven hundred thousand dollars would you buy this house let me know in the comments below you have that house right there that I showed you and across the street from this you have a private marina all right so this is the Dorchester landing private marina they don't allow any fishing or crabbing no it's not a playground and it's only for the residents right here I will have to find out more if it's something that if you buy this house you can utilize but for now let me just show you so many of these people here actually one of the biggest advantages of owning a house over here is that you have your own boat you can dock it over here okay so this is basically what it is people are buying these houses here with the intention to have their little boats and they can take off and go right so you have actually it's actually that side over there okay so the water is not that deep on this end over here i just wanted to give you guys an idea of what it looks like over here it's funny walking here gives me makes me a little bit dizzy i feel like i'm moving wow it's just the effect it makes me feel like I'm actually like moving. Whew, it makes you a little bit dizzy, I have to say. So yeah, people are buying these homes with the intention to you know dock their little boats or big boats, whatever they have going on. And many times there's a fee associated. You actually rent the dock or you know it comes with the house. I'm not sure. It just depends many times. I'm not quite sure what the deal is over here. But this is a private one. So unless you have a home on this side, you cannot actually dock your boat on this area so people really love the view the tranquility as you see it's very very quiet just the sounds of the birds you know that's basically it everything else is super quiet so i just wanted to give you guys an overview of what you got on this end over here so like i said this is a beautiful nice area away from the city away from the hustle and bustle 
of Washington DC in this quiet area called Stevensville. If you guys are interested in buying a home, let me know if we go from there. City of mine, how I love, how I love the city of mine. It never gets me down. City of mine, how I love, how I love the city of mine. It never gets me down. Yeah. I was born in the city. I was raised on its edges, my pop work is life when it's complex I found love in its center, if I could live here forever Think it'd be for the better, I love the weather Even though it's fog 24-7, I love the people This is city, I met all my best friends And I wanna thank every break, I wanna thank every entrance To every building that I step in, in this city of mine Oh, you most my best moments in life See, I fell in love for the first time in Golden Gate Park I saw my first rap show at Great American Hall I used to beg my homies for a ride across the bridge to go off and spend the whole damn day doing whatever we want Keek drove us down to Ice Place while we roll up a blunt And me and Jack would get stony, walk around and get lost Don't think I'll ever truly pay back all I was lucky to get Just by walking through the city, no, I'm a small part of this I never really had a place to call my own So I travel and I roam till I find that But I'm full of adventure so I wander and I venture And it's safe to say that really I don't mind that I book a flight to try to figure where my mind's at A spot where I don't spend no money just some time at I mix and mingle with the people till I learn a little I brought some weed and baby maybe we could burn a little She said you're funny, I said no I'm David and I left Sun shining, birds chirping, let me take a breath I'm headed to the city where my chance to make it best what people like to give a little then you take the rest i'm hoping one day maybe i can find a place to rest i fell in love with life and wonder where it take me next i like the hustle and bustle i fell in love with the fashion i feel the pulse of the city is moving me like a passion and it's mine Baby, we go way back All the situations, circumstances Still we don't mind steady going on I ain't dancing around the street lights Hey I know every street sign Hanging around the block Like if you are my friend Then you are welcome any moment Yeah So guys, here I'm at this uh, very unique Airbnb that you can rent for about $500 a night. It's actually a boat, you know, that's on the lift. And you can see right here, I'm right by the water here in Annapolis. So this is definitely one of the main ones I recommend. If you're in the area, you got to rent this place right here. So I'm going to put the link below. So if you are curious and want to get a hold of the owner and get more information, you know, feel free to do that. So here is the balcony. You can see and uh, I'm located right here by a boat club you have the entrance right on the side right there and I'm gonna get in and give you guys an idea what it looks like inside so this is the main area here the family room this is the family room area and uh, this is the kitchen. Guys, this is the kitchen. Instead of renting a home, like a house house, like a regular home, you can be on the boat <laughs> and have this amazing, it's all modern. It's modern, you have a flat screen TV right here. Look at the cabinetry, it's great, looking really good. You have granite countertop, nice sink. 
electric kitchen right here, stove, microwave, and then the full-size refrigerator, guys. Check this out. Full-size refrigerator. So, you have your little dining table right there, and then your whole family room. Sofa there. Nice. So, let me show you what's next here. I believe it's the bedroom, the first bedroom, guys. Check this out. So, you have this door, that, you know, sliding door right there. And then you have a queen size bed, guys. Whoa, queen size bed on the boat, and I can feel the boat rocking too. It's rocking a little bit, you know. Rock the boat, rock the boat. For Malia, check out the bathroom, guys. Full bathroom, standing shower, and that's your little view of all the other boats, guys. Whoa. Then I'm getting in here. This is the second bedroom the second bedroom and if you pop this open here you have all your closet space enough space for your stay here in the beautiful state of maryland and this bedroom here comes with the ensuite bathroom check this out the ensuite bathroom standing shower whoa so when you talk about coming to annapolis if you want to have a unique stay and you know just experience something different than what you normally do instead of renting just a regular house like i would say you can rent a house boat and have a good time and i can tell you guys it's rocking here it's rocking i love it so this is definitely the most unique airbnb that you can rent out here in annapolis area and i want to say thank you to the owner if you're watching this thank you for letting me access you know this place so I can come out here and film and show this amazing rental that you have here. So guys, I kept the best for last. And you have this amazing views over here of the river, Chesapeake Bay, right there. We are here by the yacht center, surrounded by yachts, the water. This is the roof of the Airbnb, okay? So that's your view right here. That's what you have. Guys, this is definitely something you want to do. If you are here, I repeat, the description and the link of this Airbnb will be below. So if you're interested, reach out to the owner. Thank you for watching this video, for allowing me to come out here and film this beautiful place you have here. So guys, let's continue to explore Maryland. It's a beautiful state. And I hope some of you get to come and visit this beautiful city of Annapolis. After this amazing boat tour, I went to visit First Home Mortgage to meet with a gentleman by the name of Alex. So he can break down a little bit more on the financial transaction portion of the real estate business. So I'm here in First Home Mortgage with Alex, and we're going to be talking about down payment, which is the first step and the most important thing you have to have when you're buying a home. So good morning, Alex. How are you doing yeah, today? Good morning, Evan. Good morning to everybody. <laughs> All right. So Alex is a gentleman that I met recently, and he was kind enough to sit with me this morning so we can talk about buying a home. So, Alex, how did you get into this business? I decided that I needed a change and I've always been into real estate. I wanted to do something where I'm helping people. Like, I feel that I'm helping them build something. Mm -hmm. And then this was, well, I talked to a couple of my friends who have been doing this for many years and they said, this is, the, this is a good thing. This is a good business to be in. You actually help people build wealth. So getting them into a house is not just getting them into the first house, it's just you know helping them build that multi-generational wealth, I guess. Right. Yeah. Okay. So that's why. I just wanna I wanna be able to help people get into a home. Everybody should have a right to get into a home. And okay. obviously I wanna help also investors and other people that want to buy second homes and stuff. But mm -hmm. that was sort of my motivation in helping people. Very nice. So most of the clients that you have, they struggle with the down payment, is that is that correct? Uh, there's a lot of them, yes. Okay, so how do you guys come in the picture? What is what what service do you guys provide? For them, when we get when we get the client that call us, uh, the first step is to try and get him into a conversation, a 30, 45 minute conversation. Lots of questions about the details on why they want to buy a house now. What are their finances? What are the you know the credit score? What's the debt? A lot of people would just say, well, what's your credit score? And then they check the credit score. It's like, oh, okay, yeah, it's not that good. Okay, they think, get a better credit score and come back. Right. That is not my approach. Usually, what I like to do is I, I like to sit down and and not only after I have all that forty five minutes conversation, 
get all the as much documents as I can and then help them build a plan that might take you know three six months uh, one year two years whatever it takes so that's sort of what I help them and I and, and I and I keep up with them every three months or so I just help them you know, it's like have you done this for your credit have, have you been saving have you and then a lot of it, it becomes accountability. Mm-hmm. So I, I kind of become kind of like their accountability partner. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, all right, you told me you're going to do this. You want to get a house. This is what we're going to do. Mm-hmm. And then they can see it. I mean, I had a client this weekend, and she's been talking to a lot of different lenders, and they're all, oh, we just fix your credit, and then we can go. I didn't do that. I got the credit. I got her finances, her husband's finances. I collected everything. I looked it over. I created a spreadsheet and I told her, these are the costs, this is what you need, this is what mm-hmm. needs to happen. We can't buy your home not right now, but eventually we'll be able to buy it. But at least now you have the steps. And she was so grateful because she's like, nobody's told me this before. I thought I just had to fix the credit and mm-hmm. everybody was gonna help me with the down payment assistance. And I was like, yes, you, we're, we can help you with the down payment assistance. However, you still need to have money saved mm-hmm. for your closing costs. Mm-hmm. And the guidelines, you wanna make sure that you are also invested in the property Mm -hmm. you can't really do everything so once you once you have some money saved it's a good thing Mm -hmm. that we can see that you're a lot you're able Mm -hmm. to save money and also that you're improving your credit that you're making payments on time Mm -hmm. we like to see all that history and and people just don't know right just you know so do you also have to have a good credit score to qualify for the program here? Every guideline is different. Uh, every company is different mm-hmm. uh, here at First Home. I mean, we do loans for a you know, 580 credit score. Obviously, the higher the credit, the better the loan, the better the interest you're mm-hmm. going to get. So we usually try to get them, our clients, if they're a 580, we try to get them to like 620, 640. That gives them a, a better foot in on a loan that's going to help them long term. Mm-hmm. So somebody's going to watch this and wonder what's the difference between financing with their bank, whatever it is, Bank of America, Capital One, mm-hmm. or going with you guys. What's the difference? Because my understanding is you are helping with the down payment, correct? Right. So do you work with the other bank that they might be working with? Is there some kind of connection that's necessary or, uh, or no? No, I mean, and I, I want to make sure that uh, People know that when you come here is we we have a down payment assistance program and is the Maryland Mortgage Program Assistance. It's not specific to us. It's not specific to uh, to first home mortgage. So you can pretty much get it anywhere. It's just trying to get you to that first step it makes the difference between us and a lot of other people. Create a plan mm-hmm. for you uh, to get you to that first step. So when they go ahead and get the home, is the payment to first home part of the mortgage that they're going to have? Is the whole the or how is it financed? Yeah, I mean we are a lender. We have our own money, so yes, we do have the funds when we give you a loan. Is is our our money, and then we have investors. So we have to make sure that we satisfy sometimes the guidelines of the investors. Some investors will have an overlay. Okay. Uh, basically, say uh, having a guideline or a requirement in addition to the uh, to the guidelines that are already exist mm-hmm. in order for them to be able to buy the loan. Mm-hmm. We need to be able to sell some of the loans so that we have enough cash flow so that we can make more loans. Right. Once we create a loan and uh, we're very um, transparent with the client, we sell you, oh, we're gonna sell the loan, we're gonna sell it, we're gonna keep it, you know. Once we sell the loan and we get that money back, we can use it for other loans. For other loans, okay. For other so when do they start paying you back? Right away when they get the, the house or do they pay that at the end of the loan? Okay, so with the Maryland Mortgage Program, the way it works is, it, it could be either conventional or FHA, mm-hmm. depending on the credit score. Basically what happens is there's two mortgages that come up with the Maryland Mortgage Program. Mm-hmm. If you have a, uh, you have a your first 30 30 year program mm-hmm. 30 year uh, loan I guess and your second loan will be for five percent mm-hmm. three four or five percent of mm-hmm. the loan whatever it whatever uh, we've chosen to come however much help you need with mm-hmm. okay so like let's say we choose the five percent loan so if it's a hundred thousand dollar home and then so you get a loan for ninety five thousand mm-hmm. that's a primary loan and then you get a second mortgage for mm-hmm. five thousand. Mm-hmm. Those five thousand dollars can be used for the down payment. Mm-hmm. Uh, obviously, five thousand dollars it's going to be some some of the money, but you're going to have to come up with some of the other mm-hmm. money to pay for the closing costs and the down payment. Mm-hmm. That second loan, a five thousand dollar loan, mm-hmm. it's added. At, you don't have to pay it until after you finish paying your first mortgage. So okay. after you finish paying your first thirty years, then you start 
paying that five thousand dollar loan. Right. And that second loan does not have any interest. No so interest. So it's only five thousand. Wow, that's really good. So what happens if they want to sell the house or refinance the house if in the meantime? Yeah, if they if they decide that they want to sell or refinance, and that loan has to be paid. Let's stop this portion of the interview right here. Thank you for watching the video this far. The real estate market is quite complex, as you can tell, and financing officers are a crucial part of this transaction. I have Alex's information if you want to discuss this with him further. Interest rates are a huge portion of your home purchase, so it's important that you understand all the ins and outs of the real estate transaction you're about to be part of. I have Alex information and instead of you watching me asking him questions, given that everybody watching this video who's interested in buying a house will have actually a very different situation. So I think it makes more sense if you have specific questions that you reach out to me and I will direct you to Alex as he requested. Just know that he's available to help you no matter what your financial situation looks like. So don't hesitate to reach out to me on my email iVentures at gmail.com and I'll get back to you. If you send in comments, I may not always be reading them. There are just too many of them sometimes. The best way to get a hold of me is by email. So I hope you've gotten a little bit more knowledge about the real estate transaction. I took you to this home in Stevensville. I've explained a little bit more about what I do and I gave you a little brief synopsis of the financial portion of the home purchase. For those of you who have stuck around for this video, I wanna say thank you so much for watching. Kindly give this video a like and let's continue this discussion. And I want you guys to get as much information as possible. If you're interested in buying a house, no matter where in the process you are, it's never too early to get started and get ready. And it's never too late to buy a house. So if you are thinking about this again, feel free to reach out to me and I will give you guys all the answers that you need. Once again, thank you for watching. Hit that like button, and I will see you guys on the next video.